Hello Coaster friends, it's Adam here from Pause Games and welcome back to Planet Coaster and welcome back to Hysteria Valley. It's been a long, long time since we've been back in this park um, and I've done quite a bit actually today um, because we are going to try and go, not just finish off the park, but we're going to try and actually continue the park. That's what I've decided to do. So that's what we are going to start over the next, I don't know, couple of weeks, couple of months. I don't know, however long it's going to be. So I've done quite a bit, um, which I will show you in a few minutes. Uh, but first of all, if you go on to enjoy this, don't forget to like the video and then subscribe down below to stay up to date with all of the latest Planet Coaster 1 and 2 content. Uh, very exciting that we are back in here. Um, and like I said, I've spent a good few hours in here today just sort of tarting up a few areas. I've done a little few little additions to this entrance plaza um, I've been going around do, doing like a full pass really of the park that we've made already uh, with the intention of like I said to expand this park out and that's exactly what we're gonna do so before I show you what we've done today let's just jump over into the um, sort of expansion pad and have a look at what we are actually going to do moving forwards so as you can see here at the back of the park behind the wooden coaster um, we've got a lot of space around the lake to expand uh, now the little pathway that goes towards the right hand side so over here originally that was going to be a new area which we were going to start a few years ago i say a few years ago it was six years ago uh, we were going to put in a old town um, area utilizing the vintage pack but what I've decided to do as I've been going around um, I'm actually using a few of the vintage pack pieces around the hub area of the park just as you come in um, as it suits that theme quite well um, but what I am thinking we could do though in this area um, is bring the whole path around and sort of join it up with our adventure area over here and then this sort of becomes a big loop of the lake and I think we might be able to get sort of a good one or two areas in this one two three maybe and a few more coasters and rides and maybe a big dark ride at the back is potentially a plan. Um, it depends how much time we're going to have really to do this park. Um, but then we've got a few months until Planet Coaster 2 comes out. So I dare say we could get this finished. Because um, the actual park itself, for anybody who hasn't seen, is, I'd say it's about halfway done. It's not a massive park by any means. Um, but we've got the hub area, which is around here. The little adventure area here. And we've got a pirate area here, which is split into two areas, a little town um, and a sort of dock area. So like I said, I'm thinking of doing a bit of an expansion around this lake and then just looping it around here and joining it all up. I think that's the plan. Um, moving forwards anyway, that's, that's going to be the plan. <laughs> so in terms of what we did in this episode, um, quite a lot of the entrance way I've put more planting around the edge, a little bit of design work on the floor, uh, again some more planters in the middle and just generally finishing off the area and making it just sort of look a bit more finished because it was kind of not quite finished before <laughs> so that's what I've done here but like I said all this um, planting around the edge is all new uh, and it just makes the area look a little bit more finished one of the main things that I changed is the big entrance sign it used to be a big um, art piece high hysteria valley sign which I never really liked it wasn't very good um, so we've just used these light pieces which actually came in vintage um, which I think look a lot better and it kind of fits the sort of feel of the park now this isn't a budget park by any means but it's also not a Disney style park with its sort of theme uh, theme and budget um, so I think this fits quite nicely um, and we also added a Hysteria Valley sign to the Big Ferris Wheel, which again is something I meant to do a while ago and never quite got around to it. Um, so a few little changes around the um, entrance hub area. We had a bit more detail to this building, um, and then I completely changed this food court here because it was looking it was, it was a bit awful before. It kind of full of art shapes, which you'll see in the uh, in the in the clips in a minute. Full of art shapes, and it was a bit nasty. So this is where we started bringing in some of the vintage pack stuff to sort of tie in this area and I think it looks a lot better than it did before uh, we've also got a lot of um, signs from the theme makers toolkit which I've downloaded and utilising those in there and I think it looks quite nice another addition we did over here is add a bit more detail to this carousel a few more vintage pieces some of the um, horses the organ and then over here this was just a plain wall before um, but what we've done now is I added some Again, more vintage stuff, just to give it a little bit of a focus, focal point and think of it as like a a selfie wall or whatever. We've got some little plaques which would 
which give you some information about the rides, the history, and that sort of thing. Um, the other things we've done has been going around the area. We've been adding more fencing, bins, um, benches, and that sort of stuff. A few more planting areas around here. We've had a lot more foliage, palm trees, um, just to fill out the area. So it was looking quite... Um, quite barren actually so this area has, has had a bit more work like I say in terms of its planting um, loads more trees loads more fencing has gone in and um, just to sort of finish it off a little bit more again all this fence all this planting is brand new because um, it was never quite finished before so that's what we've done um, today here's a quick look at some of those bits which I'll show you now um, but then I think we'll end this video by just um, extending this sort of path around and sort of roughly marking out um, where we're going to add these new areas in. So yeah, so I'll show you a few little bits now of what we've been doing today um, for over the last couple of hours, and then I'll be back with you at the end. Like I said, as we expand this park out a little bit. So I'll see you shortly. Right then, so that is all we've done today so far. Uh, and also, this is a quick look at the sort of layout of where we're going to go with this park moving forward. Um, so what I've done is over here in our sort of adventure area, I've created a little bit of a rock wall, um, which was just a dead end before, to join the path up. And then if you have a look straight over here, you can now see where we've extended the path around. Now, this is just to give us a, an indication of where we might go with the park. Now, the different coloured paths is kind of to uh, indicate where 
potential areas might be so and i've also what i've done extended the lake a little bit up here into a little bit of a rock area which will maybe turn into a bit of a weenie at the back of the park maybe a volcano or something like that um in the in the terms of the part that'll be um fake like a, a man-made thing um, but that's the idea i might go for something at the back here and then turn this area into i don't know, like a tiki area or something like that i don't know we'll we'll, we'll think about that so what i'm thinking is expand this adventure area out a little bit around this section but basically where you can see the wooden path um this blue section will be again its own area maybe creeping out into a little bit over here but we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out only a little area there and then this section again another area here and then potentially another theme there so in theory we can get three new areas three new themes in each with maybe one main ride and a couple of flat rides a couple of filler things so nothing we're not talking anything major i think the only one major ride we're probably probably going to do in this park is some kind of dark ride at the back over here um, which i might tie into this volcano this mountain um, because as of right now this park doesn't have any dark rides as such the boat ride here has a bit of a dark ride scene um, but we I think we need to go back in there and do a little bit of a lighting pass from what I remember um, so that's currently the only dark ride so to speak we've got so I think that's what we might do is have a little dark ride here maybe another coaster at the back here and then a couple of small rides just to fill in the gaps and then that should really finishes off and that will make the part look quite nice so if you look at the layout from here it kind of finishes it off quite nicely and it gives us a nice loop all the way around so basically when you get beyond the wheel here and you get to the um the teacups either way you go left or right it ends up being quite a nice loop and that's kind of what i want for this part of what i'm going for it, yes we have loads of expansion room everywhere else and we will put them in a bit of back backstage area because at the moment we've only got this little backstage bit so we'll try and add a bit of realism as we go um but for now that is the plan so like i said a few bits are done today we tarted this area we made this look a bit nicer added some extra details around the hub um, more foliage in this area we still need to do a bit more work here i need to do another pass of foliage and lighting around this area as well and um, which we'll do next time just to make sure this section of the park is basically finished before we move on to the new areas so if you've got any ideas of themes or attractions or anything like that that you would like to see me put in these three new zones at the back of the park let me know um, i'm open to suggestions um uh, and we'll see where we go with it but it's really good to get back in the game um, i'm really happy that my pc seems to have fixed itself since i've put a new cpu in that i can actually play again now because i was really struggling the first couple of days trying to get back into this game um so yeah it's all going really well so fingers crossed um we can get this park finished and i think really we're gonna have at least two months um chances are now this is me putting on my speculation hat chances are planet coaster 2 will launch in november um, as that's when most of the other frontier games have launched so that's my bold prediction um so we'll see what happens anyway that's going to do us for this first episode back in hysteria valley um hopefully we'll get a few more of these out over the next couple of weeks um i'm not going to commit to a schedule because it's going to be as of when i can really get on here um, i'm back at work soon after being off on paternity leave i've got a new baby in the house who she's coming up to seven weeks old uh, on on monday um, and i've also got a three and a half year old so it's it's trying to fit in <laughs> gaming around work and life and all that kind of stuff so but i will try my best i promise i'm really enjoying being back in the game um so that's the plan moving forward so if, if that sounds fun if that sounds good and you enjoy that sort of thing let me know uh, by giving us a like give this video a like down below and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of the planet coaster one and two content Right, guys, thank you ever so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.